The life cycle of a deer typically follows a pattern similar to many other mammals, with distinct stages of development from birth to death. Here's a breakdown. Birth. A deer's life begins with birth. Fawns are usually born in the spring or early summer, depending on the species and geographic location. They are born with their eyes open and are capable of standing and walking within a few hours of birth. Infancy. Fawns spend their first few weeks nursing from their mothers and hiding in dense vegetation to avoid predators. During this time, they grow rapidly, gaining strength and coordination. Juvenile stage. After a few months, fawns become juveniles. They start to venture out with their mothers, learning essential skills such as foraging for food and identifying potential dangers. They still rely heavily on their mothers for protection and guidance. Adolescence. As juveniles mature, they enter adolescence, typically around one to two years of age, depending on the species. During this stage, they become more independent and may join small groups or herds of other young deer. They continue to refine their survival skills and establish social hierarchies within their groups. Adulthood. By the age of two to three years, deer reach adulthood. They are fully grown and capable of reproducing. Adult deer may establish territories, mate, and raise offspring of their own. In some species, males may engage in rutting behavior, competing with other males for access to females during the mating season a mating and reproduction. Deer typically mate during the fall or early winter, depending on the species. Males compete for the attention of females through displays of strength and dominance. Once mating occurs, females carry their offspring for a gestation period ranging from about six to eight months, depending on the species. Parenting. Female deer, known as does, give birth to one or two fawns per pregnancy, although twins are more common. They care for their young, nursing them and teaching them essential survival skills for the first several months of their lives. Senescence and death. Like all living organisms, deer eventually reach old age. As they age, their physical condition may deteriorate, making them more vulnerable to predation and disease. Senescent deer may also experience a decline in reproductive success. Ultimately, death is a natural part of the life cycle, whether due to predation, disease, or old age. Throughout their lives, deer play important roles in ecosystems as herbivores, shaping vegetation through grazing and browsing and serving as prey for predators. Their life cycle is intricately connected to the dynamics of their habitats and the other species with which they interact.